Why is it so hard for you to love yourself? Why is it so hard for you to see the beauty that you have inside? Why is it so hard for you to see yourself as a treasure? So hard for you to see that you're a diamond? Why is it so hard for you to believe in you? Why is it so hard? I totally understand why it's so hard, because it was hard for me. My mom passed away when I was four years old. Grew up with a mentally abusive stepmom. Totally super shy, introverted kid, got bullied. And I just remember walking the halls, fifth grade, hoping that they noticed me. Low self-esteem. Totally felt inadequate. I was short, and I felt short. But then I discovered the real me. I discovered my gift. And I stopped worrying about everything and all the outside influences. I stopped worrying about what people thought about me. And I started believing in myself. I kicked all the negative demons out of my head. See, sometimes we have to get out of our own head. And there's so many negative self-talks, so many negative conversations that we have with ourselves on a daily basis that lead us to low self-esteem or feeling inadequate. But it's time right now it's time today for you to kick those negative demons out of your head. They cannot share your same mental space. You need to make sure that you are allowing the positive, the positive affirmations of the universe, positive affirmations of God to lead you to positive outcomes in your real life. They will lead you to believe in yourself. And that's the first thing I had to do. I had to make a vow to not allow those negative demons in my brain to win. They kept winning every day. I had to treat them like a volcano. I had to make those negative demons lie dormant. And then I had to shovel the dirt over them to make sure they never, ever resurfaced. And anytime they tried to resurface, boom, you got a place to be and it's not in the forefront of my brain. Positive affirmations. I also found myself taking blame for everything that had happened to me, even the things that I couldn't control. And I bet you feel the same way. I bet you're blaming yourself for things that you had nothing to do with. Before you can move on, you have to forgive yourself. Before you can really love yourself, you have to forgive yourself. I'm a hip hop guy, and there's a song by the rapper Squarface where he says, I don't love me. How in the world can I love you? It all starts with loving yourself. But you have to forgive yourself. I know they did that to you. You didn't do it to yourself. Don't you take the blame for that. Don't make yourself feel like you're not worthy to be loved. Don't make yourself feel like you're not worthy to execute a phenomenal game plan and live the life of your dreams just because of something that someone did to you in the past. Yeah, we make our own mistakes. And we have to find a way to forgive ourselves for those as well. But don't you dare take the blame for something that someone else did to you in the past and carry it like baggage. You let that baggage go. Forgive yourself. That's the pathway to loving yourself. You also have to be strong enough to say no. Remember, you teach people how to treat you and they will walk all over you if you let them. So when you love yourself enough to say no, when they ask you to do certain things that are not in your character, you quickly will say, no, I'm not doing that. Because I know if I allow myself to go there, I'm gonna be the one that's hurt. I'm gonna be the one that's broken. I'm gonna be the one that's battered and bruised. So absolutely not. And I've said this many times before. Some of you guys are weak and you're quick to say yes. But allow me to introduce you to your new favorite word, no. Love yourself enough to say no. And finally, I know for me, there came a point in time where I was in a relationship and it ended and I sat down and I self-assessed and I told myself, listen, I'm not where I want to be at in my mental space and in my physical space. Let me learn how to be okay with me. Let me learn how to be okay loving me. Let me learn how to be okay walking alone in my own personal space for a while. And that's the exact same thing that I need you to do. I need you to learn to be okay by yourself. Stop thinking that you always have to be with somebody else to feel loved. Love you some you. Love yourself enough 
to wake up every day and be simply okay if it's just you, yourself, and you. Figure out your likes, figure out your dislikes. But never ever again feel like you need somebody else to validate you. You need nobody else's stamp of approval. And I promise you, when you're okay in your own skin, and you love yourself enough to realize, I don't need anybody else to validate me. That's when the universe, that's when God will allow the right person to walk into your life. But today, it's all about you figuring out your strengths, figuring out your weaknesses, figuring out your likes, figuring out your dislikes, and finding a way to stop hating yourself and start the journey and start the process of totally 1,000% loving you. Because believe it or not, you are worth it. And so if you're not strong enough to get into a mirror and say positive affirmations like I am enough, I am worthy, I'm phenomenal, I'm awesome, then I am the reflection of you in the mirror right now telling you that you are enough, you are worthy, you are awesome. You were born to be a leader, you are the one. You are the chosen one because you have a gift to share with the world and the world needs your gift. So today, please take the necessary steps to love yourself. And guess what? Once you love yourself, you find yourself winning each and every day. And you've officially climbed the hump. And now you can make each and every day of the rest of your life a Wednesday. And this is a great day to win. Let's go. Never forget about you. Today I want you to put you at the top of your to-do list. I sense a little hesitation. Don't think about it. You really need to do this. So you've been putting others first for so long, you've lost a connection to your own personal brand. And you keep dancing to somebody else's beat. But today, it's time to reintroduce the world to your phenomenal marching band. Putting others first to the detriment of you is the opposite of healthy living. Today I implore you to love you some you and tomorrow you can get back to all that giving. The first thing they tell you when you get on a plane is put your mask on first. And since you fail to follow protocol, it's been hard for you to breathe. And if you don't make some changes, it will only get worse. Give yourself room to be human and make mistakes. I know they look at you as a superhuman and they think you can just go, go, go. But right now, it's time for you to hit the brakes. You have to have your own back because they will use you and use you until they can't use you no more. And those are the facts. Today, embrace your flaws because you are imperfectly perfect. Treat yourself to your favorite meal and do you today because believe me, you deserve it. Take this moment to rethink all of your present relationships. And if you find that you and anyone in your boat are not sailing in the same direction, it's time for them to be ousted from your ship. Meaning no disrespect, but they must be removed from your presence. Because if they're not for you, they're against you. And as of today, that is no longer the essence of who you are. Today, I want you to find that little kid buried deep inside that used to love to smile. Go on a play date with yourself and embrace your inner child. You have more power than you know. You are so much more than just going with the flow. Love yourself. Because if you don't love you, it's hard to love somebody else. Self-love. Love you some you. So today, I want to speak directly to you. Straight from the heart. It's been brought to my attention that some of you out there don't believe in yourself. Some of you out there don't love yourself. Some of you out there are worried about what everybody else is saying about you. You're so consumed 
with helping this person. You're so consumed with helping that person. The babies, your friends, your family, your significant other. But you forgot about yourself. All that stops today. I'm your voice of reason. I'm sitting right up in your living room reminding you to love you some you. A major key to happiness, a major key to success, a major key to living a life fulfilled is finding a way to fall in love with you. You're worth it. You're worthy. You are more than enough no matter what you've done in your past, no matter what they say. You got this. Sometimes you gotta push that sunshine through those dark days, through those dark clouds. So this is the very moment that I need you to do yourself a favor and hug your, <laughs> my wife told me to keep it clean, hug yourself because your current state does not seal your fate. And if they can't relate, that has nothing to do with you. Don't let them, don't let they, don't let those determine who you are. You make that determination. Sometimes we fall out of love with ourselves because we don't take the time to forgive ourselves for our past problems, for our past issues, for our past mistakes. This is the moment that you forgive yourself and you fall back in love with you. You are amazing. You beat the odds, you were born. So that means that there is a definite plan in place for you. I can see greatness in you. But the question is, do you see greatness in you? For so long you've let the demons run your brain. You've let the negative thoughts run your brain. It's time for you to release yourself from that mental prison. Break them shackles and remind yourself that it's super important that you love you some you. If you don't believe it, you find yourself a mirror and you say this over and over again until you believe it in your heart of hearts. I am worthy. I am enough. I'm imperfectly perfect. I'm working hard to become the best version of myself. I love me some me. Because until you love yourself, it's virtually impossible to truly love somebody else. So right now it's time to smile. It's time to power through and put yourself in a position to win in every aspect of your life. Live your life and make sure that you love you some you. Climb over the hump and make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go. So the first thing I want you to do right now is give yourself a great big hug. I need you to do yourself a huge favor and become the new love of your own life. See, to fall in love with yourself is a major secret to happiness. I know the relationship was toxic, but you tried to hang in there. That person let you down. They let you down. And for far too long, it was all about that person. It was all about them. And you keep neglecting yourself. I need you to love yourself just as much as you want somebody else to love you. Because when you love yourself, the less nonsense you will tolerate. When you love yourself, the less mess you will tolerate. When you love yourself, the better you can love somebody else. They say you can do bad all by yourself. Well, I'm telling you right now to your face, you can do good by yourself also. 
And right now it's time to do good by you. It's time to do right by you. It's time for you to love you some you and be okay without that circle. Be okay without that person. Be okay with you because you're phenomenal, because you're beautiful, because you're amazing, because you're awesome. But sometimes you don't believe it in your heart of hearts. This is the moment for you to take yourself out on a date. This is the moment for you to hang out with you. What do you like to do? What do you like to go? What do you like to eat? And it's okay to ask yourself them questions. Let's say, self, what are we doing today? It's just me and you. And guess what? That is okay. Because when you love yourself and people know you love yourself, they stop trying to hit you with all the silliness. They stop trying to hit you with all the ignorance. But guess what? When they do, you have so much self-love in you, you just immediately shut it down. And they respect you. Because when people see you respecting yourself, when people see you loving yourself, they fall in line. I guess what? They go somewhere else. Because when you know the real you, it's so much easier to say no to them. And they don't like that. But you got love for yourself. The new love of your life is you. And I need you to be okay with that. Protect your inner peace. And to do that, and obtain mental wealth, Make sure you're depositing daily positive energy and have love for yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, it's hard for anybody else to respect and love you. So this is a new day. This is the new you. This is a new win. And the new love of your life is you. And can't nobody tell you nothing. So do yourself a huge favor again. And like I said at the beginning of this, give yourself another great big hug. Because guess what? You deserve it. See, self-love begins when you make the decision to love yourself more than those who continuously try to hurt you. So them, they, and those have been removed. And it's time for you become the new love of your own life. And once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Guess what? This is a great day to win. Let's go. Reminder alert. Never forget the greatness that makes you you. Never forget the awesomeness that makes you you. The amazing you lives. And anybody in your life that tries to make you feel less than, you need to make sure that you remove them from your circle. Because let's do the math. You plus you equals imperfect perfection. Yeah, we all have flaws. We all have things that we have to grow and mature and get better at. And that's okay. But never forget the amazing you. You got a smile that can light up a room. You have an energy, a persona that people love. Never get lost in life so much that you forget about yourself. Self-love is the best love. And for far too long, You've allowed yourself to fall victim and prey to what that person wants, to fall victim and prey to what they want, and you've forgotten about you. And now you've got your head stuck in the ground like an ostrich. Well, you know what? That's a myth, and you not being phenomenal is also a myth. So if you won't big you up, I'ma big you up. I know you don't see any pom-poms, 
but I'm your personal cheerleader today, reminding you that you are phenomenal, reminding you that you are awesome, reminding you that you are great, reminding you that you deserve to be here. Flaws and all. So I need you to do yourself a huge favor and learn to like, no, no, no. Do yourself a huge favor. Learn to love yourself from your little pinky toe all the way to the last strand of hair on your head. You are wonderful. And I'm that person. I'm your reflection in your mirror right now, reminding you that even on your worst day, you are still loved. Even on your worst day, you are still amazing. Even on your worst day, you still are worthy. So never ever forget that. And when you're feeling a little down in the dump, feeling a little down and out, feeling a little low, I want you to pull this video up, pull this audio up, and let me remind you just how amazing you are. You were put on this earth for a reason. You beat the odds. So yeah, that means you are worthy to be loved. But all that has to start with it here. I need you to know the amazing you lives. I need you to dig deep and find that spark, find that light, and keep powering through and let that pressure, let all that energy turn you into the diamond that you were meant to be. The amazing you lives. This is just a reminder of how great you are. This is just a reminder of how marvelous you are. So please, repeat after me. I, insert your name, will learn to love me and stop placing other people above me. So please, be good to yourself. Because if you're not good to yourself, it's gonna be hard for other people to be good to you. So it all starts with you. And when you learn to love you, and when you understand the value of you, that energy will be radiated throughout the world and throughout the universe, and that energy will come back to you. The amazing you lives. And once you understand that, you will find yourself climbing over that hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Never forget, you are awesome. This is a great day to win. Let's go. It's funny because right now, I'm going through a mindset change, a transformation as it relates to finances. And one thing I've learned as I start to dive into the stock market and start to dive into real estate is that the majority of wealthy people in the world own stocks and own real estate. Well, this forced me to have a come to Jesus meeting with myself. And one thing I realized is for the majority of my life, I've had a poverty mindset. So in order for me to change the way I've been thinking, I've had to submerge myself into videos, into audio, into television programs that are teaching me the in and outs of the stock market, teaching me the in and outs of real estate. The problem with you is, you don't even realize for the majority of your life, you've had a self-hate mindset. You don't like you. Well, it's come to my attention. And recently, it's finally come to your attention the way you feel about you. So in order for you to start the process of transformation and make that mindset shift, just like I'm currently doing in the financial department, you have to make some life changes. You have to start submersing yourself in videos, YouTube, self-love. How do I love myself? In the music you're listening to, you can't listen to all that ignorant music and still think you're going to keep loving yourself. That music is telling you not to love yourself. Now, it's okay for you to get a little bit of pleasure on it, but right now, that's all you're listening to. 
and you tearing your spirit up. You show me your friends, I'll show you your future. You show me your TV shows, I'll show you your future. You show me your music, I'll show you your future. Transformation and mindset shifts require you to do some things that make you uncomfortable. So yeah, you have to start listening to more things that are feeding your mind. Self-love, if you wanna love you, start listening to things that help you love yourself. Start watching things that are pouring powerful information and affirmations into you that become who you are. If your glass of water is dirty, you have to keep pouring and pouring and pouring clear and cleansed water into your cup until you get all of that dirty water out. Self-love does live in you. But for far too long, it's been lying dormant. And it's time for you to activate your volcano of self-love. Because you deserve it. But just like me, I'm going to generate a lot of income in the stock market long term and a lot of income in the real estate market long term. I need you to generate a lot of self-love income for the long term because your future self deserves it and your future self is dependent on you to do the things starting right now at this very moment to remove that self-hate and start bringing in that self-love. So what's it gonna be? Nope, don't listen to that. Nope, don't watch that. You have the power to make that shift right now. And once you do that, you will find your future self smiling and you will find your present self at the end of the day climbing over the hump and making each and every day of the rest of your life a Wednesday. Pour some self-love into you. This is a great day to win. Let's go. So you mean to tell me you still out here hating on yourself? You still out here hating on you? Don't you got enough doubters and haters and naysayers that are pushing and pulling on you? Stop absorbing what they're feeling and making it your own. Oh, you and them ones. You don't know how to love yourself. Well, you've come to the right video, the right voice at the right time. Give you three keys to self-love. Number one, embrace your flaws. You hating on you because you don't like you. You don't like the way you look. You don't like this about you. You don't like that about you. Well, when you hate on you, the rest of the world is going to do the exact same thing. Embrace your flaws. You are unique. You are an individual. Your difference is what makes you phenomenal. Remember, we're all imperfectly perfect. So I need you to be comfortable in your own skin. So embrace your inner uniqueness. Embrace the difference that makes you you. I need you to start loving that about yourself. Number two, forgive yourself. We all do stupid, dumb stuff. And we have to look back on it once we overcome it and say to ourselves, what in the world was I thinking? I know for me, I look back, some of the boneheaded things I did, I had four babies out of wedlock by the same person that I didn't even like. I look back on it, I'm like, what in the world was I thinking? But I had to stop and take a moment and forgive myself. And you're probably smack dab in the middle of doing something stupid right now. And once you get past it, get through it, because you will. Don't beat yourself down for doing it. You have to forgive yourself. You also have to forgive yourself for things that other people did to you. It's not your fault that that person took advantage of you. It's not your fault that that person did that to you. So stop trying to make it your fault. 
as a reason to keep that person around or as a reason to stay in that situation. Forgive yourself and let it go. Forgive yourself and move on. Forgiving yourself is a major key to self-love. Do not, and I repeat, do not let a few ugly moments define who you are. And number three, stop neglecting yourself. You got to make some time for you. You keep putting everybody ahead of you. You must be okay saying no sometimes. It ain't easy. I struggle with it. But it's imperative for you to love yourself and stop neglecting yourself. You have to say no sometimes. At least one time each and every day. Have some you time. Take a moment and do something that you love to do. Exactly what you want to do. It ain't got to be nothing. It can be just watching a TV show. It can be taking a moment to meditate. It can be taking a moment to read. Whatever it is that doesn't have anything to do with anyone else, do it for yourself. Set some time aside for you. Listen to me. Doing for you and not neglecting you is not being selfish. It's an act of survival. So embrace your flaws. Forgive yourself. And please stop neglecting yourself. Love you some you. Self-love is the best love. And once you apply those three things, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day for you to love you some you. Great day to win, too. Let's go. Just in case no one has told you today, you are amazing. You are worthy. But never, ever, ever forget that you are enough. I don't know what you heard. I don't know what you thought. I don't know what they told you. I don't know what you were led to believe. You may not be perfect, but you are enough. See, you don't understand that people come into your life and they try to prey on you. They try to break you down. They try to lower your standards. They try to lower your self-esteem because when they lower your self-esteem, that's when they can get everything that they want. See, they're trying to win and they want you to lose. They want you to feel like you are less than. So let's do the simple math here. And starting today, when somebody comes into your life and their mission is to make you feel less than, I need you to subtract them from your equation. So moving forward, you only deal with people that add positive value to your life. You are enough. You are worthy. So stop acting so thirsty. You don't need him. You don't need her. You do not need them to validate you. And that's what happens. Right now you are thinking that I gotta have him. I gotta have her. I can't live without him. I can't live without him. Yes, you can. You are enough. And if they're not treating you the way you deserve to be treated, like a king or a queen, it's simple. They gotta go. Because you are so much more than you give yourself credit for. You beat the crazy odds. You were born. You were put on this earth for a reason. And once you stand up for yourself, and once you are reminded and you remind yourself of the self-love that you need, and you let them know that you're not going to stand for it anymore, when they try to belittle you, because that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to make you feel less than. You stand up for yourself. And when they walk out that door, they're going to leave the door open so the right person can walk right back in. The person that's for you. The person that knows you're imperfectly perfect but loves it person that allows you to be you. They love you with all your flaws, with all your scars, with all your baggage, with all your wounds. The person that was sent to help you heal. The person that understands that you are enough. As a matter of fact, at times, they feel like you're more than enough for them. And that's exactly the person that you're looking for. 
I love this quote. It says, Never dilute yourself for any person or any reason. You are enough. So be unapologetically you. You are imperfectly perfect. So there's always room to grow. There's always room to learn. But let this sink into your soul. Let this sink into your spirit. You are enough. So never ever let another living human being, another living human soul, tell you any different. Because once you grasp that, and you truly understand that, you will never ever ever be broken. You will never ever ever be emotionally distressed. Because you know that you are worthy, and you are enough. Just put yourself in a position to win. And that's what this is all about. Climbing the hump and making each and every day of our lives a Wednesday. You are enough. So if this touch your spirit, if it touch your soul, please do me a favor and share this for me because there are a lot of people out there 